Taffer files, oh. cemetery seekers, church crawlers, be whatever you may. It's a beautiful day today, is it not, Manny? It's a nice day. Look at the sunny, sunny sky. It's beautiful out there. We are in the town of Farnborough today. It is your hometown. It is. And we have a look around today at the Victoria Road Cemetery. It is from 1859 is the year it was opened and there's 299 graves here. So, we're going to have a look around since it's beautiful weather, come rain or shine, cemetery in time. Okay, so have been coming here quite a few times, but it dawned on me that I've never filmed it and it is now becoming spring, but it is sunny, so come and have a look at it whilst in good weather. I think we've been here quite a few times anyway yeah. in the years that um, been coming to Farnborough. But uh, this side, which is the locked gate side, um, has all the older graves in. And when we were just walking in there, I had to be quiet because somebody was tending to a grave. I don't want to be offensive to anybody or start talking loudly around someone who's tending a grave of a loved one. So I just that's why I was talking a little quiet earlier. <laughs> anyway, that aside, um, there is a chapel, or was a chapel. I guess there's still parts of a chapel Part left here. <laughs> it was a very uh, run-down chapel from the first times I ever come here. I don't know if it's ever... Well, do you remember it being? It was in need of repair. <laughs> in a minor, minor way for when, when Hanfus came in. Now, uh, well, due to you'll see. <laughs> naughty boys, it's, it's, it's not so good. Yeah, there was an 11 and 12 year old that uh, burnt it down. I don't really know how you burn a stone chapel. Well, the, the roof's gone, that's the thing. Yeah, that wooden part is gone. So, now we have the... Well, as it says, construction site, so I don't know whether what they're doing with it has been like this for a while now, whether or not they're raising money so that you can, uh, well, I guess, get it remade, rebuilt. Um, the walls themselves have also come down now, so there's not much really left of it. Even the windows, as you can see there, there's not much left of them either. But, um, at least they haven't got rid of it yet, and we were saying yesterday maybe it's good to actually get film footage of this whole cemetery whilst the chapel's still here. Yeah. Because <laughs> it might not be here for much longer. So, um. Or, well, you know, maybe we'll just come back in a year and we'll show you a nice pre finished yeah, built version. That maybe we can actually go inside it when it's new. Who knows? I mean, it's quite small anyway, isn't it? It's no yeah, more than. It's just... Oh, what would you say, like 20 feet or I something? Guess, but it's just historical, it's a shame people have the, so, I don't know, for whatever reason they feel they need to set fire to things. It's, uh, Boring lives of, te well, 11 and 12 year olds Yeah. time for arson. We said the other day where people sort of <laughs> playing the small towns, like they're bored and they have excuses for things, but there's no excuse for, for that, really. No. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll take you a little more of a view around the cemetery itself. We'll have a look more at the older graves on this side. And then a bit of a history lesson when we get back to the other side when hopefully people aren't tending to graves and I'm not annoying Holy them. no. What? Did you know them? <laughs> yes, we've got a Coney, a Coney gravestone. APG. Oh, he was a wonderful person. <laughs> it says ranger traffic from. Maybe they were a ranger in their past life. They're coming in the grounds very dodgy where you're standing. Oh, so, yeah, that's probably so why. Oh, I'm going to fall around. through a stone. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's safer on this side. <laughs> These ones have always been my favourite because they look very vampiro like. Um, on the side of it, though, it does say, Pity my simplicity, suffer me to come to thee. Very positive as usual. But I just like them. They're just um, all laid in a row. Whether or not they're the same family, they're too old now to be able to read the writing on them anymore, but I've always liked them. Very uh, aesthetically pleasing, the way that they're laying here. On this side there is a gap, and you can kind of partially see through there, with the no roof. See through up into it. Still looks really cool, even with the scaffolding on. 
Wouldn't it be great to get in there, Manny? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tight. <laughs> it also wasn't tight enough last time. I don't see how we would manage to get through any of this stuff, but yeah. Hmm. So over here, when you come back through the middle, let's have a look. It must be... Oh, it just says, erected by the parishioners of Farnborough. Let's look around the other side. It has to be a military one. It's got to be. Memory of Victoria, our Queen. Ah, how about that? That's pretty important. She wrought her people lasting good. A thousand claims to reverence closed in her as mother, wife, and queen. It makes sense. She that. visited Farnborough a lot. So. Did she? Oh. Well, as part of the road to the chapel. Yeah. Um. The, the Farnborough St. Michael's, yeah, what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause that's all part of that. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Victoria Road and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, because yeah, it's down. on Victoria Road. Yeah, she's come down all the time. So. Yeah, very well noticed, May. Yeah, looking at there with the blue skies behind her. Queen won't visit her now. But, you know. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but it's nice that this queen visited once upon a time. <laughs> in 1819 so I just came up the back of this one looks very important again can we read it in memory of Hugh Archibald Renwick captain of 5th battalion and RAF attached to the RAE Farnborough and second son of William Renwick Langarth Sterling look at his important names it's a very nice stone and not too far down this one pretty pretty plain behind giant other crossway boxes here but as they just noticed that David Hume Pinsent was Royal Aircraft Establishment killed while flying for the purpose of research in aerodynamics killed aged 26 so yes in case you don't know Farnborough is known for the air show and it's well much, yeah it's, this is at the home of um Planes, well, of a, of planes aircraft, yeah, building development. Yeah. Um, so um, if you do come down here, you do want to come visit after this. But it's literally directly opposite. It's directly opposite the train station itself. And yeah. If you go off to the side, you might actually find even in relation to the RE was the biggest employer at one point here. Mm. There's remnants of the old tram tracks. You start to take yeah, all the employees from is. wherever they were along the way to work wherever they lived in Farnborough. Mm. Might show you. Might here, show you afterwards. Actually, if we go in that direction, I've got a few other things to show you after this, but. Yeah, that's a little insert into there because I think um, it's what Farnborough's most known for, isn't it? For sure. So, for yeah. sure. I'll point it out, Manny. Do you want to read this one out? <laughs> Let's yeah, read I'm gravestones sure together. I what they're doing there. <laughs> no, it's for a lovely lady, obviously, but someone decided to put God, God only loans his jewels. His jewels. Um, Is that a positive? Is that a negative? Does that mean that she was a jewel and took her back? to heaven right because otherwise I have no clue what on earth you're talking about <laughs> it's pretty a some, family phrase yeah Bless seen them. some so, strange you know. things on graves but, but I guess you can have anything on you want yeah, you're paying you for can, it you so. put whatever you want and it only has to mean something to you and the yeah. people you know I guess so, <laughs> so whatever you know uh, Miss Rosetta Smith your jewels were loaned and took them back oh, oh wait this is so cool. If love could save, thou hadst not died. Wow. That's really pretty, isn't it, man? That's, I'm not seeing that like a pillow thing. Yeah, before. it is like a pillow, but it's like a, like a handwriting. Pillow. It's really nice. I like that. It's cool. All right, so we're going to take you to um, a very dear grave to us of Arthur Lunn. Um, he is well known as a historian of Farnborough. Um, his wife, is it his wife that's buried with him? His wife is Yeah. Um, we found out about it because I was looking into, uh, the sarsen stones of Farnborough. And, um, basically the history of where they came from and the, the old areas that they still resided. Um, and Arthur Lunn had done loads of different information about that and walks you could go on and where to find them. And we went through, is it Cove? Where? Cove Village, yeah, which yeah. is not far. It's literally minutes from here. So. Yeah. So we went around Cove looking at all of the different areas and found out of where he used to live, um, which actually had some of the remaining stones in the garden, we found out. Yes. Yes. Um, as... Look at those. Was it his daughter? 
Yes, there it was his time. daughter was there. And they were yeah in the process of selling house. There. Yeah, so we, they showed us around, which was, nice. which was lovely of him. Um, so that was a really good day um, that just spontaneously happened one day, didn't it? It was a beautiful day like today as well. So we just thought every time we come through here, we always visit Mr. Long's grave, thank him for his his story, just everything that he's given to Farmer because it helped us on that day, and I think. You know, it's just important to have historians, otherwise people won't know stuff. Yeah. It's alright looking things up on the internet, but historians, but they do write stuff, but word of mouth. Not everything is on the internet. Yeah. I'm finding it out through talking to people, so here we have Mr. Arthur Lunn, and as he says, co-historian and writer. And it was only, well, it's now seven years ago when he passed away, but, I mean, we've been together five years, so... Yeah. It wasn't that long ago when um, we first discovered about him and when obviously when we went to his house and they were in the process of selling, obviously that was only just happening then. So thanks Mr. Lunn, you've done a great service to the town of Farnborough. So that is going to conclude this seek. Mm -hmm. eh I hope you've enjoyed this Farnborough outing. Um, as Manny said, it's right opposite train station should you ever wish to come here. Very accessible. Easy to get to. Yep. And if you're in London, it's what, half an hour out of London? Get a direct, it's half an hour out yep. of London, it's all good. Very easy. So, in respect of Arthur Lunn, we say goodbye today and we hope you've enjoyed it. Till next time, bye. Goodbye.